as most of you know, I recently got back from an amazing trip in Oman. It was awesome. The hotel was great, the temperature was great, the beach was great, and the food was pretty good too. So I thought, why not have you join me on a day in my life at an all-inclusive? Let's get to it. So as you probably know, if you are familiar with all-inclusive hotels, there's usually buffet, breakfast, lunch, and dinners, as well as snacks provided throughout the day. So I generally started off my day at the omelette and egg stand, where there was always a line of people, to get myself an omelette with everything. Onions, bacon, paprika, and some other stuff, I don't even know and I would have bread with that. Usually I had sliced bread because they had really nice sliced bread, but they also had quite good croissants and it was all great. They also had a freshly prepared waffle and pancake stand, which, you know, is amazing with Nutella. So that was also a great possibility after my omelette Bread. At the end of this, I always ended with yogurt, fruit, and granola. So I would have a layer of muesli, then a layer of yogurt, a layer of fruit, a layer of yogurt, a layer of fruit, and then granola and raisins if you have them. And I generally drink tea with this. So on this particular morning, I had three slices of bread with a two or three egg omelette, grilled tomato and beans. Then I had two Nutella pancakes and my yogurt and fruit and granola concoction. Then we, of course, went to the beach, had a little swim, relaxed a little bit, read a little bit, until about 2 p.m. when we had lunch. We always started off with soup, in this case, it was just a cream soup. It generally was a cream soup. I like cream soup. Anyway, after the soup, I would just have a whole bunch of different things. I would generally start off with a plate of cold appetizers. So that would be cold pasta salad. Generally, there would be lentils, um, possibly cold potato salad whole bunch of different cold salads and then a plate, a large plate of pasta or rice, generally rice, sometimes also fried potatoes with different sorts of meat, fish, lots of curry. And dessert. This is what I had on the specific day I decided to film, I believe, the second day. On this specific day, we also had some fun on a golf cart because we moved from hotel number one to hotel number two because hotel number two had been booked full for the first day, so we had to find another temporary solution. So we went to our second hotel, there we went for quite a long beach walk with lots of crabs, lots of birds because there was uh, some illegal fishing activities going on, and yeah, just great company. In the second hotel, unlike the first one, um, there's also ice cream provided in the afternoons between 3 and 4. So they had chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, and I just changed it around every day because why not? Then the evening was basically the same as lunch. So again, soup for starters, 
then either a cold or a hot other plate and then another hot plate and dessert. Dessert would be some sort of cake or rice pudding. The second hotel did not provide any fruits or anything except for with breakfast. So yeah, I had a lot of cakes, but they were pretty good. And the dinner would generally be between 8 and 9 o'clock. So as you can see, um, my days here are quite different from what I eat at home. I eat what's available and what looks good to me. It's generally four meals in a day instead of six or however many I have, but they're also quite big. I mean, I have at least two plates of food with every meal. So even though I eat less frequently, I just eat big amounts. The point is to be flexible and to adapt a little bit and to just enjoy everything that's going on. I honestly had a great holiday and I hope I've been able to cast a little bit of light on what I eat at an all-inclusive. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next month.